Hello everyone, it's your bud. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a really cool build for Dungeons and Dragons that I found. It's called a Direct Damage Sorcerer build, also known as the Mailman. Now let's get into this with the quote that's linked here. Neither rain nor hail, nor sleet nor snow, nor heat of day, nor dark of night shall keep this carrier from the swift completion of his appointed rounds. Which is a quote from the historian Herodotus. Now Herodotus is one that was known as like the father of history, and I, that quote says 500 BC. I think that's the uh, Persian Wars, though I could be very wrong here. And then there's this really cool image that says, Orb, you shall suck because I say so. <laughs> and I, just, I don't know, I just, it just seems really funny. And now let's read the article. Savor dies, eat your hearts out. There comes a time in every battle where damage must be delivered. There may be AC or SR, which I think is armor class and strength, although I might be wrong, or various and sundry resistances in your way. The target may be incorporeal or flying or invisible, or it might not even be your turn. In fact, the battle may have started only an instant ago. If you wish to take on the appointed duty of delivering the damage, this build is for you. It's not on par with the most broken combos in 3.5, wow that shows you how old this is. So I don't know how much of this will translate into 5th edition, but I really like the concept. So whether or not you can make this work technically in 5th edition, the concept of this class or build is great. So yes, it is not on par with the most broken combos in 3.5 and will not completely destroy your game. However, it's a very fun tier 2 build. I'm not exactly sure what that means. <laughs> The concept of the mailman, rather than exploding a single combo, plays on certain ideals and synergies, as well as a couple of smaller combos and general nifty tricks. It doesn't require a rigid 20 level build, though I'll suggest one below, and I believe this build is the essence of the 3.5 sorcerer and it uses a couple of cobalt and sorcerer only tricks. I know you're probably now skeptical, there's a lot of prejudice on these boards against direct damage through magic, however I think in a campaign with not only optimizing players but also an optimizing dungeon master, direct damage has the very nice quality of being hard to prevent and very reliable at bringing things down. In a world where vampires wear vests of resistance of plus 5 and are multi-classed up the yin yang, save or dies are just not gonna work. Doing anything but direct damage almost always allows allows a save, and the point of this build is to not even give your target a chance to save whenever possible. Battlefield control is great, but your enemies can change the battlefield too, and at the end of the day I found it easier to make them explode than to play chess with them. <laughs> Now there's a bunch of things here for like required books, uh, but we're just going to move on to the build. I'm not going to be discussing all of the technical things because this is, I think, a bit older. I don't know how much of it connects, but yeah, so I just wanted to talk about the concept of this more than anything. So for the build, the thing that is essential to remember is that the mailman is more about the synergy of sorcery with metamagic, time control, and superior targeting than a specific 20 level build. What I'm putting here is a rather laid back example of a mailman you can put together. It's more to illustrate my concept than anything else, and it strongly reflects my personal preferences and style. So the have some race things, some initial stats, a bunch of feats. Let's make sure that you can at least see all of them. So pause if you want to read any of these stats because I'm mostly going to be scrolling through it to get to the concept stuff, or you can go search for this at The Mailman, a direct damage sorcerer on the Giants in the Playground website. So now for the basic ideas and the philosophy. So to start, you are not God. Controlling the battlefield is not your job. Your job is to deliver the mail. Save or dies are not your style, and don't let your target control their own destiny. You control it. In addition to not being a wizard, you are also not a thief, not a cleric, and not a tank. These roles may or may not need to be filled in your party, but you will not be the one to fill them. So, one of the core concepts is metamagic abuse. The sorcerer is in some ways better at abusing metamagic than the wizard, since they can do it on the fly and select the best metamagic slash spell combo for the job. 
The loss of the move action is painful, but this can be gotten around in a couple of ways, such as rapid meta magic. I'm not sure if that's still around in 5th E, I can't remember off the top of my head, so I can't remember if that's in 5E, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but maybe you know and you can let me know in the comments. So rapid meta magic is a feat that is a short term solution at level 9, but it's actually detrimental when combined with arcane spell surge. The fast metamagic familiar ditch in Pathfinder version 2, I have no idea what that is, is nifty and will be useful throughout. The main idea here is to use practical metamagic to make damage increasing metamagic, well, practically, early on, and stacking it with improved metamagic later to make twin and maximize insane at two levels and one level of cost respectively. This is where the damage will generally come from, amplification of low to mid level spells. So another one of the core aspects of this build is temporal or action abuse. Uh, there's a spell apparently called Celerity, C-E-L-E-R-I-T-Y, although I'm sure you can read that there, and it's the early keystone here. And even without some way out of days, it is extremely useful for turning the course of battle. Arcane Fusion and its big brother Greater Arcane Fusion give you action economy for popping out a true strike or true cast or a say spell resistance for getting the main part of the spell to actually hit. Again, I'm not sure if any of those have carried over to 5th edition, so let me know. Finally, Arcane Spell Surge is an economical and effective way to get two spells out per turn and is helped a lot by invisible spells for cases when spells needed to be fit into your turn. In summary, Quicken eat your heart out. So now for the third of these core concepts, targeting and bypassing. Using action control, getting off spells like true strike and true casting can make sure you hit and break through SR, which I did say I think I did say I thought that was strength earlier, but I think strength is just S and SR must be short form for special resistances. So yeah, true strike so yeah, true strike and true casting can get through special resistances. I believe that's what that means, and it lets you make sure that the mail is delivered. In addition, the orb line of spells bypass special resistances entirely Orb of Force in particular bypasses almost every defense that can exist besides touch AC. One key idea here is you don't want the target to be making a save, especially a reflex save. It's better to be making ranged touch attacks that you can control, rather than letting your enemies make saves that they can control. With Rings of Evasion prevalent in the lands, Fireball sometimes becomes an exercise in futility. So again, there's a giant spell list here that's more something that I'm just going to actually I don't even really need to go through it uh, because it's I don't know I'll, I'll scroll through kind of quickly but you know the website so go check out the mailman a direct damage sorcerer build from the Giants in the playground forum and I'm just gonna go through I think there's some tips and tricks and Actually, I'm not even going to discuss the tips and tricks because they're just so complicated of merging different spells that I'm a bit unfamiliar with. Then there's a gear thing below. Pause if you're curious, but the best of the spell list, I think, are the orb spells. The orb spells and all of the uh, meta magic and other spells and time controlling spells that allow for this person to use the orb spell and get it past other defenses in better and better ways is just pretty cool. And then there were some of those tips and tricks or the tricks and combos as they said. And once again, just pause if you need it. A bunch of gear. And yeah, that's the class. So I do really, really, really like this one. So I really, really like this build. I really like the combination of multiple things and having like uh, this sort of sorcerer meta magic. I really, 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 really like uh, versatility in my classes and being able to be useful in multiple different settings. That's what's really, really cool to me, being uh, very, very flexible in the use of your attacks. But this is also very specific where it's all about getting damage to the person and getting damage to the person doesn't mean controlling the battlefield it doesn't mean allowing them to make a save remember so anything that you can do to have the ability of them to make a save go away is something that you want so really this list of all the spells the list of ability the gear it's all geared towards one thing getting the damage to the target or as they say here delivering the mail so thanks very much for watching everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this. And yeah, just a shorter video, but I've made a lot of videos recently and I need to completely reset my sleep schedule because I've been going to bed when the sun's rising and then waking up around lunchtime. So yeah, I'm just doing a quick video today with a little bit of editing and sorry for the reflection, but yeah. So yeah, this was the mailman. And again, let's see what was the quote from Herodotus. So we'll end with this quote here and then I'll be seeing you in the next video.
Neither rain nor hail, nor sleet nor snow, nor heat of day nor dark of night shall keep this carrier from the swift completion of his appointed rounds. So thanks very much for watching everyone. If you want more stuff like this that I've found over the years, then give this video a like. You can subscribe for daily videos. I make at least one video every single day. And leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Take care.